The NBA 2024 show is upon us in Las Vegas. Christian Hernandez is here with Sports Video Group. We're very pleased to be with our friends at Canon at their booth in the Central Hall, 3825. Just so happens to be Rich Eilers. Rich, show just started, but how's it going so far? Christian, it's been great. I mean, and, and again, thank you for coming by, seeing the booth. We're very excited to show all the all the customers what we got going on here at NAB 2024. Yes, if you're in the Central Hall, you cannot miss Cadden. It kind of it, it's perfect. It's nice and big. So uh, look for the lenses. Yes, perfect. Let's talk about what's new. Kind of give yes. me the 30,000 feet view of what Cadden is showing at the floor. Kind of adaptations to previous products and what visitors can see when they go to the booth. Absolutely. Well, first and foremost. I get super stoked when we're able to talk. We got a new broadcast lens. That's always a, an exciting thing for us to say, and we are really excited about the brand new product that we're offering at the show floor this year. It's a CJ27 by 7.3 a lens that's basically now going to be the longest yet the widest lens that's going to be in the palm of your hand and it's got some excellent new features in terms of its servo too as to go along with those great optics that can really give you some nice flexibility so that's one of the that's that's one of the feature things we have at the booth we also have another interesting thing going on as well which which we've worked on and this could be helpful for the college base where we have a mobile camera app where you can basically take either your camcorders your Canon XF605 or your your cinema EOS cameras and coordinate them and you're able to switch a show from the palm of your hand, which is pretty cool for, you know, again, our, our, our college customers, guys like that, which are a little short staffed at times, it's a really big help. And last but not least, we have a really, really cool uh, free viewpoint system. I know we've been talking about it for a couple of years. It continues to evolve and it continues to do some really interesting things for us. Just had it at the Women's Final Four this year in Cleveland, where uh, it impressed a lot of people with what it's got, uh, what, what it has to offer in terms of imaging. As a team and venues guy, I love the free viewpoint. Can't wait to hear more about it. But you see the you see the booth. Kind of let's dive in and let's talk to some of your colleagues on the Canon side. Absolutely, let's go. All right, we're a little bit deeper into the Canon booth here in the Yeti B show. Uh, talking about box lenses and the lenses here that Canon is showing. Next up in the lineup is Josh Stoner. First of all, Josh, how's the show going for you so far? So far, so good. Good. I know it just opened. There. We're about like ten minutes in, yeah. and we're. Everything's running smoothly. We are cruising. Uh, so Rich mentioned a new 27 times lens. Um, kind of interesting factors, interesting new additions that things uh, that fans or leagues or networks can use. Tell me all about it. What are the details? So it's a new lens. It's an ENG lens with a 27 times zoom and a 7.3 millimeter wide end. So typically, 27 times zoom is the only you something you would only see in a box lens. We have put that in an ENG lens. It's four pounds. Um, in addition to the, the longer zoom range that you're getting out of this lens now, we also have a very brand new drive unit that goes with it. It's the EXS5 drive unit. This drive unit has um, an angled connector down here for uh, easier robotic connections and, and more automation. We also have a USB-C uh, port here for serial communication, again, for automation and, and sort of uh, robotic applications. This lens also features um, focus breathing compensation, which is something that was only typically found in box lenses. So this lens has taken a lot of the features that you see in a box lens and put it into an ENG lens so your operator can run around with it on their shoulder, on their hands, and get that shot that they weren't getting before with all the, all the attributes of a box lens feature. Right, so the flexibility and the, and the nature of a box lens and this new use case kind of gives you the best of both worlds for people to kind of run around and do a bunch of stuff. Exactly, I think this lens is gonna be very popular. Awesome. Well Josh, good to see you man. Have a good rest of your show and uh, let's go see more stuff at the Canon booth. Canon's always looking to kind of create solutions that are customizable to their clients and this one is no different, a new platform used for kind of small scale productions. We are here with Paul McNiff. Paul, take us through uh, what, what we're gonna show today. Sure, so what we have here is our multi-camera control application. This is uh, an Apple device. Currently, it's only available on Apple devices. It is free, and you can control up to 20 cameras, any of the cameras that have our XE protocol and then also have our Wi-Fi connection capability. So right now, you can see that we're running. We've got three different screens here. We've got the C300 Mark III, we've got a C70, and one of my favorites, the XF605, which is a uh, one inch sensor camcorder with a 15x zoom. So you can control pretty much every aspect of the cameras. Let's say that you know you have a really limited crew for whatever reason and you're doing, you know, you've got a game going on and you have to cover it with a few cameras and you're gonna maybe change the shot a little bit, but you can lock them down. You can control all your cameras this way. You can uh, change whether they're going to be in manual exposure or some other kind of a of an automatic exposure. You can turn on and off ND filters. 
You can even go in and zoom the camera if you have to reframe the shot over a distance. So it's a really simple, incredibly economic way to control multiple cameras in you know a very simple environment. Easy to use, and I'm sure in the post-pandemic world, if anyone calls out yes. sick, this is kind of a perfect use case. Yeah, it's incredibly easy to use because you know I've barely even used it. I'm just looking over here and going, oh, that's clearly where my white balance is. That's clearly where my face priority is. This is clearly my F number. Yeah, it's it's as intuitive as possible. Well, Paul, thank you for the time. We're going to go talk about uh, Canon Free Viewpoint with uh, the friends over there. Yeah, Free Viewpoint's a good one. You guys are going to enjoy that. All right, so Paul just ran us through a platform helping the college side, but we're here talking about professional teams and venues. We have Waka from Canon. Uh, Waka, talk to us about the Canon Free uh, Viewpoint, any new additions and any changes to the platform. Yeah, sure. Happy to. Uh, so this Canon Free Viewpoint, we are using a 104K camera, and uh, we locate it around the arena and the studium. We capture the entire space. And once we capture 3D space, and we can put a virtual camera, uh, whatever you want, so we can provide uh, any limitless angle uh, of view. So actually, we have a great partnership with uh, Cleveland Cabarets, our system installer in the Rocket Module Heat House. We provide a lot of the unique uh, broadcast contents to the uh, body sports. And recently, uh, women's basketball NCAA WA final uh, held in the Cleveland and the ESPN really enjoy our contents. So it's a really uh, great uh, you know, contents. So this is a sports feature, but uh, now we are happy to announce a volume to video studio in New York area uh, we launched in May. Uh, this is a great, uh, as you see, this is a green box studio. Uh, we can provide more higher precise, you know, quality uh, volume to video contents we can provide. And uh, not only Canon, so uh, now we have a partnership with Zero Space. They have a very unique virtual production hub. So we collaborate each other. So we capture uh, the data and then they enhance our data. So we now we are developing different pipeline and it's like like live streaming or more you know unique uh, highlight package. So uh, that's a lot of the possibility so we can uh, provide to the customer. So that is a, yeah, our update. Waka, thank you for the time. We'll actually go speak to Zero Space now. Have a great rest of your NAB show, and thank you. Thank you very much. One more guest at the Canon booth. Uh, with our partner, Zero Space, it is Evan Clark. Uh, Evan, talk about the partnership that you have with Canon and how you are help powering the, the Canon Free Viewpoint. Yeah, so this is a very recent development. We're very happy to be partnering with Canon and their free, uh, free Viewpoint system. We're building the largest volumetric capture stage in our facility, Zero Space, in Brooklyn, New York. We've had a very good developing relationship with them, and the technology is really pushing the envelope in terms of delivering the next generation of content for all the new types of medium. We at Zero Space are really excited about implementing across platforms, Vision Pro, MetaQuest, iOS, every platform you can imagine, and getting this content in everyone's home as fast as possible. Well, Evan, thank you for the time, man. Uh, have a great rest of your show, and uh, happy NEB. Yep, happy NAB to you too. We're here at the Canon booth, 3825 in the Central Hall. Cannot miss it. For more interviews, visit over to our website at sportsvideo.org.